Social Booer is here, and that intro has a lot, a lot of sneaky stuff in there. Whether you're an anime-only fan or a manga enjoyer only, there's something for everyone. However, there is a lot of spoilers within that cast right in front of your face. Uh, so if you're not paying attention, that shit will just fly right past you. But never fear, your trusty pal Weeb is here to help you through all of them. So subscribe to that massive PP buff. And also, uh, spoiler warning. First things first, we see our whole cast of characters on both the heroes and the villain side marching as if they are going to war. And given everything that happens within this season, this arc, this is pretty on point. On one side, we have Gojo leading his troop to war against Ghetto. On the flip side, we have Ghetto marching his disaster cases and case users to enact their plan of sealing Gojo Satoru. Next up, we're shown Japan's famous Shibuya Crossing, and then the camera pans on the ground, we go to a place known as BSF5, which stands for Basement Level 5. And this is where we see a bunch of people fallen, and it's this little reference here that is to the humans that are trapped within the Shibuya station that were dropped right into the battlefield in an attempt to hit the Gojo in his fight against the disaster cases. Shortly after this, we are shown this little frame, which at first looks a little like a Mogwai grown into a gremlin, however it's not. In fact, this is actually Mahito's soul, and it's a straight reference to Mahito's evolution within the fight against Yuji. This quickly flows into this little creepy one-eyed box, which if you don't already know, is used to seal Gojo Satoru within the Shibuya arc, and it's called the Prison Realm. And Mappa, being the menaces that they are, dropped this little bad boy in there multiple times now as a nice little teaser of what's to come. Next up is a very simple one, but we're shown Mahito doing what Mahito does best, being a menace by running through a train in Shibuya and exploding humans left, right, and center. But what you might not notice here is that no one in the train gets up. There is no panic. And that's because they can't actually see Mahito. All they see in here is just people popping like corn, but they don't actually see Mahito running towards them. So by the time they already know what's happening, it's too late. Fingers! Lots of fingers. Use your fingers to subscribe. And also, Sukuna's fingers make an appearance here right after we see Yuji in front of a memorial war slash morgue, which is a direct reference to Yuji being forced to commit genocide within this arc and ends up becoming an incredibly pivotal moment for Yuji within not only this arc, but all of the future ones to come because, you know, genocide bad. Obviously. You knew that. We get to see this creepy little wall mural here featuring Jogo with Dagon hiding just a little off screen, then panning over to Mahito and Hanami Sat in the pose of a Buddha, which ironically, Hanami being splattered all over a wall is something that we'll see more of within this season. Todo makes his appearance and kisses his necklace, but within that necklace actually contains a picture of his brother, Yuji, a brotherhood that will reach incredible heights during this arc, and then also Takada-chan, his idol that he simps for. This one right here is a big tease to the grasshopper case Yuji fights, which Mappa uses a beautiful transition to bring Sukuna out of Yuji. Dagon getting a shady mention right here with the watery domain expansion, and even a nod to him throwing up all of the humans' remains he's eaten, where the sequences switches into Yuji and Todo and their fight against Mahito. And from this point on, Mappa drops a lot of Easter eggs, and we get Jogo being surrounded by fire, referencing his fight with Sukuna, Shoso grabbing his head and screaming in realization he's been fighting his brother all this time, Toji's awesome and powerful appearance into Dagon's domain. Ghetto dropping the case spirit that actually flips Yuji over in the end of the Shibuya arc and Megami standing face to face with Toji. And then possibly the most brutal easter egg of them all, Nobara standing here holding her left eye, which is the eye she loses in her fight against Mahito. Seriously, Mappa. Y'all are fucking foul for this one. Next up, we get Gojo standing in front of the activated prison realm from the very famous moment of Ghetto turning up and saying, Yo, Satru. Next up, we get this beautiful segment of the many hand signs from within this arc. Starting with Sukuna's domain, Malevolent Shrine, moving on into Mahito's domain, self-embodiment of perfection, into Dagon's attack, Death Swarm, then a beautiful segment of Jogo's hand signs in his final power battle against Sukuna, followed by Choso's piercing and blood, hands clasping together, into Todo's hands clapping for the old boogie woogie, and then Megami's Maharaga summoning, finally making its debut, and we even get to see the wheel spinning, which is a nice little touch. Finally, this sequence ends with Gojo's unlimited void and his eyes opening behind it, which Mappa follows up with this beautiful ripple effect throughout Japan, because everything that happens within Shibuya doesn't just affect Shibuya, it affects Japan as a whole, even the world at large in the background. And then finally, we are shown Ghetto looking really small 
mug in the fact that his plans work. And once again, Gojo pulling his blindfold back down over his eyes, which he does once he's actually sealed within the prison realms. This intro ends with Yuji walking away from the camera. And I could be wrong on this one, but this almost looks as if he's on the bridge where Yuta is sent to kill him and he starts fighting the Chaos Spirits. Anyway, that is all of the beautiful little details within the intro of the Shibuya arc. And if you like this video, maybe be sure to subscribe as that always helps me out. And we're trying to get to 20k subscribers before the end of this month. So as always, that's everything from me. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Much love, big kisses, peace.